Representative Demmer. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to renew um, one of the objections and the points that I made on the House floor just before we got organized in this committee tonight. We all know we sit here after dark on Sunday night before Memorial Day. This legislation, this bill was originally filed in February, it was assigned to a committee in February, and then sent to a subcommittee. No hearings were ever scheduled on it, and the bill was triggered by the deadline that said that if bill remained in the committee, it would be re-referred to the Rules Committee. As you watch this process, many people originally expressed their opposition to this bill or perhaps their support for this bill. But as they saw, there were no committees scheduled, there were no hearings scheduled, there were no votes scheduled, and the bill was subject to the legislative rules that all bills here are subject to. However, for some reason, this bill today at 6.08 p.m. resurrected. This bill came back. People who had been watching this, tracking the progress of it, people who cared deeply about it on either side didn't know the bill was going to come back today. At 6.08 that posting was made for a meeting that, not exaggerating here, was scheduled to begin at 7.08, exactly one hour after the posting, the absolute minimum amount of time that could be offered for a bill to be considered by a committee of this House. I'd also point out that this bill, which is not an appropriations bill, was sent to an appropriations committee of the House. This bill does not make any appropriations for the state. It's a substantive bill, but it was sent to this committee. Nevertheless, as I said on the House floor, the Illinois Constitution specifically protects the rights of citizens of Illinois to be heard and represented in the legislature. In Article 4, Section 7, it specifically requires that meetings of committees of each house shall give reasonable public notice, including a statement of subjects to be considered. No one from my district could have made it here to testify in this bill with one hour's notice. I imagine that's true of many of our districts. Could any of your constituents make it here in one hour to offer testimony on this bill? The chair just read out several names of people who wanted to offer oral testimony. Perhaps they're on their way. Perhaps they're still driving here and are not get, being given a chance to be heard because of where they live being more than an hour away from the Capitol or because they weren't sitting by their computer on a Sunday night of Memorial Day weekend wondering if a bill which had been assigned to subcommittee three months ago was going to resurface tonight. I would also point out that as members sat down, we were each given a packet of letters from proponents, from supporters of the bill. They all, coincidentally, mentioned specifically Senate Bill 25, which until 6.08 p.m. was not publicly disclosed as the bill for which this amendment would be filed on. They also say that this is appearing before the Appropriations Human Services Committee, which again, until 6.08 p.m. tonight, was not publicly known that the, this was going to be the committee to which this bill was assigned. There's a packet of letters here. So obviously proponents of this legislation were given adequate public notice. But I'd point out the Constitution does not say proponents of a, of a piece of legislation shall be given adequate notice. It says that everyone shall be given adequate public notice, supporters or opponents. The Constitution does not just protect the interests of someone who seeks to pass a piece of legislation. It protects the interests of all people in the state of Illinois. This committee is clearly not being conducted with adequate public notice. Even in the short period of time that was available, 1,500 people have filled out witness slips because they were in a position to be able to receive this urgent alert. As I said on the floor, and as I renew here, as the minority spokesperson on this committee, I strongly object to the procedure under which this bill was being considered. This should be, given the intense public interest in this on both sides, we should be given the fair opportunity to hear from citizens who support and oppose this bill. Today, that public notice and that opportunity to participate was given only to those who support the bill. That's simply not the way the Constitution set out for the state to operate. Thank you.